This problem will go through an example of how to read a word problem and identify the correct equations to use to solve the problem. The problem what we're going to go through is from the O'Hare textbook, specifically example 4.4. You can read it for yourself, but it's a problem where we have a transient outgassing from a thin plate. So material is going to be diffusing out of a thin plate and we need to know the concentration. If the concentration decreases to one tenth of its initial value, how long does it take? So when we read this problem, there's a couple key words that should stick out. The first one is transient. So we see it's a transient solution. We also see that there's a thin plastic plate. So we know that we need some thin plate. As we read farther down, we see that there's things that are changing over time. But then here at the end, we see that at time equals zero, the concentration is fixed at zero on either side. This is not going to change, this concentration, but the initial concentration inside of the plate is given by Ci0. And we also see that the plate has some thickness, some finite thickness of L. So it's not infinitely thin, it's not infinitely thick. Now that we've identified some of keywords in the problem, we need to start thinking through the steps of how do we identify which of the possible solutions. So the first thing we should ask ourselves is the question of what type of solution is needed. We saw that there's, um, we can look at steady state solutions or transient solutions. We specifically derived only one of the cases for the steady state solution, this was a thin plate. We also though looked at six possible solutions for the transient solution. So we need to identify which one we go back to our word problem, we see that it specifies that we want the transient solution. So that tells us we need one of these six solutions. One of the six solutions that's from the book and was we, that we discussed in class. So here, this is just a table showing those six solutions. And now we need to start figuring out our problem to figure out based on the information that we're given, which of these six best fits the conditions that we're given. I always like to start these problems if we don't know where to start to just make a simple sketch of the problem. So I've made a sketch for you. We have a thin plate, piece of plastic, has some thickness L. Again, these are the key words we were pointing out. We see that the concentration on the outside on the left is zero. The concentration on the other side is also equal to zero. But then there is some concentration on the inside, and that's given by CI0. Once we have this schematic down, we can create a, just a little plot of this. Now we can plot concentration versus position of these initial conditions. So I plot concentration. I'm going to go from left to right and plot concentration. When we do that, we see that our concentration is equal to zero over here. It's equal to CI zero up here. And then it decreases down at the edge of the plate, it's back at zero. So that's the first thing we wanna do is know that we're going to have some sort of function that looks like this. So we, it's gonna step up and then it's gonna step down. The next thing we should do, this is already going to start eliminating some of our options. But the other thing that we'll need to do to eliminate the rest of our options is we need to think of what's going to happen over time. Over time, we know that the concentration on the outside, this is going to stay zero. So down here at zero and L, it's going to remain zero. And then over time, the concentration on the inside starts up here and it starts to decrease. But it again is going to be fixed here at zero. And so this information is enough for us to start limiting down and to actually select our final decision based on this. So when we look at our problem, we go back to these six solutions, what we see. Here's what we look at. We look at this table. We see that it needs to have a step function or it needs to have that sort of top hat shape. So it can't be one or two or four. Those are already eliminated. It doesn't have the right shape. 
we see that six is for spherical shapes and we don't have a spherical shape, so we can eliminate six. That leaves us with options three and option five. If we look now, we can see that the difference between these is that option three, the concentration is going to, on the outside is not fixed. Some of it diffuses out and so it's not equal to zero. Here for option five, we see that the concentration on the outside is in fact fixed. So this stays here and it just gets shallower, shorter and shorter, but the ones on the sides are fixed. So in fact, this case, number five, is going to be our final solution. Once we've determined that this is our solution, we can compare the problem that we set up and start specifying our boundary conditions and our initial conditions, because we can do that. And then we can plug it into the correct equation. So we know what these values are, we know what length is, um, all those values, and so we could compute this to find our final solution.